Breaking news we're following right now from Waterbury. Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. A large investigation is still unfolding. Police confirmed an officer shot and killed one suspect. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live at the scene uh, on Craigie Street with what we have learned from police about what happened this afternoon. Matthew. Well, Mark, police say this was initially a well-being check, and you can see this is a very residential area here on Craigie Ave, and this did happen in a multi-family home where a tenant called police saying they found a bullet hole in a common wall. So at 1225 this afternoon, police responded. They encountered a suspect who at some point engaged in what's being described as a physical struggle. Now, during that struggle, an officer fired at least one shot, killing the suspect. Now, that suspect pronounced dead on scene. We asked police if that person was armed. They say preliminary reports show he was. They say the suspect did have a gun permit and a gun was found on the scene. Now, the officer involved was taken to the hospital and is okay. And this is the third officer involved shooting we've had this year. And one thing that's going to be different in this case is that we will not have access to the body cameras. As you can see, Police are still accessing this scene right now. We are not going to have access to body cameras, and that is because Waterbury Police does not have them at all. So that is going to be something interesting because we did have two other uh, officer-involved shootings this year alone, and in those cases, we did uh, we were able to review some of the body camera footage there. So as is protocol right now, state police is taking over this investigation. That is the latest live here in Waterbury. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. Okay, Matthew, uh, you know, I'm curious if you can hear me right now because I know you're having an issue with the audio there, but uh, obviously this is a residential area. What do we know about the home and the proximity there to uh, other neighbors? Well, Mark, right now police are not releasing the names so. of anybody who is involved, but they do tell us that this home on Craigie Ave, 81 Craigie Ave, was visited multiple times over the course of the last few years. But again, the nature of those calls are not being disclosed right now. Mark? Okay, Matthew.